Welcome. Welcome to our house. This is my wife, Gabriella, as you know, and I am Chef Michael Baldwin as well. We are gonna be cooking a delicious pasta dish that is very popular at our restaurant at Testabara. Using our Baldwin Food Company line, let's get started. We're gonna be making norchina today. This is a typical dish in Umbria using pork and a little bit of some heavy cream, so. And I'll be opening some wine too. Yes, so Compliment first off, this. we have our sauces that we're gonna brown in our pan here. Maybe if I remember how to open it. Now that I've gotten the most important step done, which is pouring the beverages. We actually started a restaurant together about four years ago and um, We've made a lot of noodles since, so I'm always trying to uh, get something cooking that the community will go crazy about. So this is one of the dishes. So I have my pilong, and I'm getting my garlic nice and macerated using Sicilian olive oil and a little salt. It becomes a nice garlic paste, and it's just super delicious. And this is what cooking with, with oh. your spouse is all about. I mean... Keep it in the pan, man. Keep it in the pan. She's got a little bit of got stirring started. going on. I got a little bit of salt going on. And of course, <laughs> if you know anything about us, we like to kick it up. So we're gonna do a little bit of chili flake. Um, I like to use often Thai chili flake, but just a regular um, red pepper flake is beautiful as well. Going in with the shallots. And lots of garlic, you gotta do a lot of garlic. Now, delicious. You know, this is why this is why it's so fun to cook. I'm I'm half Italian, she's half Puerto Rican. So instead of slicing the garlic with a razor blade, we're gonna do it in the pilon. So it's really fun to cook with Gabriella because every day, you know, we're trying to balance things out. She does things a little bit differently. So I do things a little bit differently <laughs> as well. And makes some, for an interesting yes. storyline. <laughs> Give me some of that wine, babe. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so. Now that I'm over here dying on wine, let's get this a little bit more broken up. And then he's gonna add some mushroom confit. So I just wanna talk a little bit about Baldwin Food Company. During the pandemic, we decided to start something that wasn't opening up another restaurant. Obviously that was gonna be really hard to do. And we decided to start a line of sauces and pastas and some fun particulars. So we have specialty cheeses and desserts and sauces, right honey? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that are not comfortable with dining in restaurants. So we really wanted to change our game up at Testabara and make sure you guys have, have a nice quality pasta and sauce at your house. So we started the Testa Fresca Market a couple months ago now. Yeah. A couple months ago. And uh, so we really want to change the game so you guys can have Testabara and our fresh pasta, fresh sauce at your house. All right, honey. I think we should add some wine to this, yeah? Yes. Okay. So. We are gonna add our mushroom confit, okay? So in here is a blend of shiitake mushrooms, portobellas, a uh, little bit of button mushrooms, some brown shimijis, and basically what we did is we roasted all those off with shallots and garlic and onion, and we're gonna incorporate that. And of course, Gabriella, let me get a pour of that wine. Absolutely. Never cook with wine you wouldn't drink, right? That's right. Yum. And this wine is gonna help our sausage break up and become even more tender as well. While he's doing that, I am going to work on um, remoulade. Yeah, we were just gonna have a taste of this really quick. Wanna try it? Huh? What do you think? A little more. A little more what, baby? Chai, baby, chai. I think the best part about cooking with uh, not only your wife and, and co-chef is really that we really balance each other out. When she thinks it needs a little bit more salt, I think it might need a little bit more pepper. And together, at the end, we come up with this beautiful dish and it's so balanced, it always comes out really, really nice. So through a little pain and suffering, a good dish will come out. Pain and suffering, eh? Alright. <laughs> I don't remember that. No, you have to have a sense of humor definitely to cook with your significant other. We met at CIA in Hyde Park about eight, nine years ago now. Yes, so I met Gabriella on an orange blow-up couch. 
I truly remember this. It was my first night coming back to school. I was definitely looking for chicks. I mean, looking for new school opportunities. No. And uh, anyways, I stumbled upon this beautiful girl who, at, in my, to my knowledge, was out of my league, but I finally introduced myself, and it was truly love at first sight. From there on, we've been having fun ever since, and here we are. In all seriousness, it is an interesting thing. You know, we've grown so much, and I think the most special part of our story is the journey from being culinary students to working in New York City and Greenwich and working full time, going to school, hoping that we would get out of that situation together and we ended up doing more than just that and now we have a restaurant and a baby who you might see in one of these videos. So at Tostabara we treat our pasta just as much as we treat our high-end cuts of meat. We're going to season that pasta with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper as well. And we like to do this before the sauce, right? Yes. The noodle is nice and coated evenly with olive oil, which means it's gonna season evenly. Ooh. And the fresh black pepper in this dish, I can't get over it. I cooked Every the pasta al dente perfectly, but you're gonna you know, bring it up in your sauce. That. One thing about <laughs> my cooking is a lot of influenced by your Italian mother, so. A lot of our recipes are passed down from years and years and years. Mine being from my Italian family, her being from her, uh, her dad and the firehouse and other, other sources. Here I added my vodka sauce, and this is one of the sauces in our case. We have vodka, right now we have arbiata, we have bolognese, and we have fontina, fonduca. So um, that will expand as the awareness of our case expands and it's in the front of the restaurant. It's so funny because there are so many people who are like, I didn't even see it there. Oh, smell that. Mmm. This is tasting so good. The truffle pesto. Oh, beautiful. Norcina is typically finished with a little bit of fresh truffle. What we have is uh, a summer truffle pesto and what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate that. We're almost finished here. You do want to use this as a finishing agent because truffle oils and truffle itself depletes uh, with heat very easily. So notice how we're adding that. We're going to cut the heat. And one thing that we're going to add that is really important is... That's more pepper? More pepper. <laughs> a little bit more pepper, no. We're going to add our fresh herbs at the end. And also we're going to add just a little bit of pasta water. It's going to make that pasta shine. Um, it's really going to help your sauce, your sauce emulsify and uh, it's key to making a great pasta, any great pasta. Dish. And make a mess. You, that's a key to cooking with your spouse. Just make a whole entire mess. I didn't do it. I, I know I did for once. Mmm, I can see the, so the sausage in here. That's why I love cooking at home, because I can just pick and taste. Mmm, that is delicious, honey. Very good. I think I'll keep you around. <sighs> Safe. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and... Let's plate it. Yeah, we're going to plate it. Let's, let's add a little bit of cheese and parsley really quick and then we'll play. Sure. Because I like a lot of cheese. So here's my gremolata. I would typically grate garlic. I didn't have garlic, so I did some shallots. This is our peppercorn laced pecorino romano. So let's talk about the pasta. What, do you, what would be some of your tips that you would give somebody cooking at home? Okay, so at your house, I guarantee you have some dry pasta in the closet. This is not the same. We are built different. We have a fresh fusilli pasta, has a lot more moisture in it. One thing that I always try to say with all my young cooks or people I'm cooking with, my family, what's better than over? Under. So you wanna undercook that pasta a little bit so you can cook it up in your sauce. One of the signs you can tell you cooked your pasta correctly, you're gonna bite it. Sorry, I'm gonna give you a bite, honey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And you're gonna see, still see some of the raw pasta in the middle, okay? And that leaves time for the pasta to, to cook while you're cooking it with sauce, while it's sitting on the plate, and then, of course, while you eat it, it'll be perfect. Perfect. If you toss a lot of fresh pasta, yo, your forearm strength is just gonna go insane. You're gonna have T-Rex arms. Yum. Little basil. Some more pepper, some more parsley. basil, some opal basil from our garden. Beautiful. And this is our Norachino. Pretty good. <laughs> what about this guy? 
Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that is really good. You get the truffle, a little bit of the sausage. Man, that is a standout pasta right there. I feel like I dance every time I taste something good. I can't help it. Wow. So you'll enjoy this at the restaurant. It's called Norcina on the menu. And now you know how to take a vodka sauce home, take a fresh fusilli home, and cook it yourself. Until next time. Fresh pasta, baby. Peace, love, and Parmesan. <laughs>